It's an exciting Sunday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Hart. Welcome to Los Angeles home court advantage for the Lakers. We are live at the Staples Center. Tip off goes to the Lakers. A look at Cleveland's starting group. Irving and Waiters, the guards. The two stars, LeBron and Love. At the three and the four. And it's Verizhao in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Lynn. Shot clock at six. Dishes it to Hill. Great tee that time from Love. Well, Jordan Hill has battled injuries, but when he's played Clark, he's been pretty effective. You know, Kevin, last season, around 20 minutes per game, he played with the Lakers, and you could argue he should have been playing more. He was very productive in that time on the floor. He's more a banger than a spread for. He's not a great perimeter shooter. Um, so the fit with their spread out system um, might have limited his playing time. Stolen by Waiters. And here we go with Waiters. Running it up the court. And James throws it down. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. And the Lakers have possession following the score by Cleveland. Here's Boozer, the 15-footer. Good. Well, nice way there to get your first basket of the game. Los Angeles on D. Outside Irving. Shot off the screen. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Kev, I caught up with Coach David Black. He said he certainly followed the rise of Jeremy Lin into a primetime point guard in this league. And he told me, we need to try to limit his penetration. That's where he's most effective, slashing and with the drive and kick. Guys, Lin has certainly been working to improve his outside shot. But sometimes you have to pick your poison, and they'll live with him shooting from outside. Back to you. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Good. LeBron with it. James, left side. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, it's funny. Back when LeBron joined the Heat, some critics said he'd given up the chance to be the franchise player and carry his team. But guess what? No matter who LeBron plays with, he's always the franchise player. That's how good he is. And you think back to LeBron after the 2011 finals, many also questioned whether he had, you know, quote unquote, what it took to win a title. He's obviously answered those questions. And some harsh criticism, Clark, for LeBron after the decision or his comments after the 2011 finals. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? It's really impressive to see how he's handled that. He know he misspoke and mishandled both of those situations. And to his credit, he's expressed regret about those things displaying a maturity uh, we've always seen in him. One of the remarkable things about LeBron is that for the magnitude of his celebrity and his stature and the expectations, I don't know if we've had an athlete handle himself any better under the hot, bright lights of stardom. Now here's Lynn. Six to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Boozer, no good. Cavaliers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Verizhao dishes to Irving. LeBron outside. Back to Irving. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Fires it up. And James with the basket on the assist by Love. And it's eight points for LeBron. And they're nearly perfect from the floor early on. Four of their first five shots they've drained. Johnson sets the screen for Lynn. Down low. Here's Bryant. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Fires from 14. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. Very positive opening quarter for them. The shots have been falling. You know, the shooting percentage would be nice if it stayed right there, but that's going to be tough to do. 
It's Hill on the wing. He's guarded by Verizhao. And it's Dion Waiters with the foul. You know, every team in the league loves to have good size in the middle. But it does seem like the league is getting tougher for big men. You know, they help defenses now. Uh, the allowance of zone defenses, you can uh, sort of load up on players. It, it can inhibit a, a big man's ability to attack because you can see double teaming even before he's gotten the ball. Uh, but it's made for great strategy, and I really like the new rules. Now here's Lynn. The kick out to Bryant. From deep. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Kobe's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. As the game has required more movement, Clark, we're seeing big guys try to slim down. And yeah, big men with agility are at a premium, but also it takes a little bit of the stress and strain off the joints. As few as five to ten pounds less can make a big difference, and that's huge for big guys. And here is Lynn after Deion Waiters getting his three to go. Boozer is screen on Waiters. Kobe passes to Boozer. Back to Kobe. Shot on the wing, and that's good for two. Kobe's got five now. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. Now, love inside, and he slams it one-handed. Well, Clark, a clear lane to the basket and the emphatic jam. And that is outstanding attacking basketball. Well, he had no choice but to take that one to the bucket. It's deflected. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. He had no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Johnson against James. Takes a three. Another three from Kobe. Kobe's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Lakers. The Cavaliers leading by six. The Los Angeles Lakers, the NBA's most successful franchise over the last three decades since 1980. Ten guys, count them, ten titles. That's remarkable, and they've led the way from a business standpoint as well, Kevin. They, they pioneered televising their home games where some teams have worried about undercutting ticket sales. Uh, a lot of great ideas and, and, and dynamics that have helped this franchise become what it is. Here is Bryant, following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Here's Boozer. Again, the Lakers. It's been a very efficient first quarter for him. He's creating good opportunities and converting those that he creates. And, you know, for the Lakers, no competition from football. There's not a football, a pro football team in the L.A. market. It's one of the top two markets in the country, and it is a basketball town. You look at their TV deal which is really mind-boggling. It's worth about $3.6 billion over 20 years. So that gives you a lot of financial firepower there. Here's Johnson following the basket by LeBron James. Johnson kicks to Bryant, lets it go from deep, and it's rebounded by Anderson Verizhao. Verizhao's got his third rebound on the night. Irving attacking, cashes in for a double-digit lead. Irving's got his third basket of the night. Well, guys, you look at the financial resources for the Lakers, not the same advantage that it once was, because with the most recent CBA, uh, it's really restricted spending. And that, the question is, how will that impact the Lakers moving forward? So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Here's Lynn. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Well, he wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him, and on the low block, I thought he might be. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he'd prefer to bring him out to the perimeter, but whatever works, go to it. Now here is Verizhao. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. That's good. You know, it seems like when they've gone to him, he's really come through, and that's not something they should get away from. Lakers trail by 10. Now here's Lynn. Hill sets the screen for Lynn. He dishes it to Boozer. Back to Lynn. The tray. And that's collected by Love. 
Cleveland's gone two of two from three point range here in the first quarter. LeBron kicks to Love. This is the Barajan. Lynn against Irving. Back to Waiters. Six on the shot clock. Outside Irving. The rebound by Kobe Bryant. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. The feed to Boozer. Back to Kobe. Irving with the steal. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. And Johnson sends it back. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. And here they go. Outside, Lynn. Back to Boozer. Outside, Lynn. From past the arc. The Cavaliers pull it in. Here's Irving. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Irving's got nine. Well, with this soft D, they're allowing them to shoot a very high percentage from the field so far. Yeah, and they're just not offering any resistance, not making anything difficult for them, and they're able to kind of do whatever they want to do. Well-contested shot there. And that's the key defensively. You've got to make them work for it, challenge every shot. Love dishes to Verizhal. Picked by Verizhal, and they double up James. Lock at six. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. He's got 14. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. They've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. The shot's good from Bryant. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. A lot of times when a great player hangs it up, they take some time to find themselves or just relax, but Kobe said last season that he wants to stay heavily involved in the NBA when his playing days are over. Not a huge surprise if you think about just how competitive he is. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Randall's checked in for Hill. Davis comes in for Carlos Boozer. Nick Young's checked in for Wesley Johnson. And it's Nash in for Jeremy Lin. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Verizhao. Marion comes in for Kevin Love. Mike Miller's checked in for Dion Waiters. And it's Matthew Dellavedova in for Irving. They've made one basket after another since getting this game started, and you wonder, is the blowout in store? Too early to say that and go there, Steve, but it has been pretty ugly so far. And Clark, for Kobe in his post-playing career, you have to think he would like to stay involved with the Lakers on some level, given that he has spent his whole career, really his, his most formative years with the organization. You know, that could be true, Kevin, from a front office standpoint, but if he wants to try his hand at coaching, he might have to be open to moving around for a little bit. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, last season, Tristan Thompson made the decision to change his shooting hand, Clark. He went from shooting with his left to now shooting with his right hand. Yeah, I've not heard of anything quite like that before, but he improved his free throw shooting substantially as a result of the change, and he gets to the line fairly often, so I think that's a nice development. I love that young man's work ethic and what he brings to a team in terms of um, rebounding and physicality. I think LeBron's going to like playing with him. I agree. Well, Thompson is ambidextrous. You know, he throws a baseball right-handed, writes with his left, and so you got to give him credit for taking a chance with a whole new method of shooting, and it's paying dividends. Both shots good from the strike. And Thompson prone to getting the shot blocked inside despite his length and athleticism. You know, being ambidextrous, you would think that he, at some point, developed that ability to be a better finisher inside with either hand. We'll see. Kobe draws the double. And here is Los Angeles now. Davis, the pass to Nash. Four on the clock. On the wing. And the Lakers tack on two more. Good ball move. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. The Cavaliers leading by 12. 
Della Vidova kicks to Thompson. James against Young. James dishes to Miller. Shot clock at five. Here's Della Vidova, defended by Nash. And it's Della Vidova missing. Los Angeles has gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Here's Kobe, and he banks in the layup. Bryant's got 14. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. Elbit over the pass to Thompson. LeBron up top, defended by Young. The shot is off, and the Lakers going the other way now. Nash up on top, goes up on the high post. Thompson with the rebound. Great look, disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks that one down. Shot and game clock separated by five. Della Vidova kicks to LeBron. The pass to Marion. Feeds it to Della Vidova. Out to Miller, jacks up a three. And it's good, assisting on the play was Della Vidova. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. Here is Bryant. He's got 14. There's the triple. The shot is off. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Cleveland ahead. They lead by 13. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Welcome back, everyone, to lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start this second quarter. And, guys, the Cavaliers enjoying a nice lead here. And they've done a nice job here offensively to establish a rhythm and a pace to this game. And I like that they're finding ways to score. Playing well here, Steve. Cleveland leading by 13. Everything appeared to be lined up for Cleveland to get back in the playoffs last year, but that just wasn't the case. A lot of what ifs for them last season. And with another top pick on the roster, Kevin, and a youthful team, they were a popular pick before the season to play postseason games, but they still needed some season. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So on the floor for Cleveland. They've got LeBron James. Thompson is out there with Marion. Then it's Matthew Delavid over. And it's Miller in at the two. And now for Cleveland. They still have the youth to grow, but with LeBron on board, the sky for them is the limit. As are the expectations. <laughs> and he may be the guy to put this game even farther out of reach. Lakers trail by 15. Outside Bryant. They double-team Kobe. Nash outside. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. On the money from 12 feet away. And one more note about Cleveland. Everyone will now assume that they will make the playoffs this year, but the ultimate goal is a title. Something that hasn't happened in the city of Cleveland for any major sport 
in a long time. Probably 64, I think, may be the last title. Again, you're right on it. Here's LeBron. Steve Nash making his last shot. And the shot is good. Miller's got five. They've had the hotter hand in the first half so far, no question. Yeah, it's because of all the high percentage shots they've been working for and getting. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Well, Kevin, Jeremy Lin knows that an awful lot is expected of him. He said, I'm very young in my career, and because the expectations of Lin's sanity are so big and the shadow is so large, sometimes I have to take a step back and remind myself the journey has just begun. It can be hard to keep things in perspective, but gentlemen, he's trying to stay grounded. And nobody certainly will ever forget Lynn's sanity, but it would be asking, I think, too much for Lynn to be in that zone all the time. Thank you, Doris. Rejected by Young. And that'll be Cleveland as it goes out of bounds. Uh, Cavaliers retain possession. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Robert Sacre, he's checked in for Randall. Ryan Kelly comes in for Ed Davis. Johnson, he's checked in for Kobe. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Steve Nash. Cleveland also making some changes. Love checked in for James. Waiters comes in for Mike Miller. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Matthew Delavidova. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And he gets it to go. And assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Really an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Los Angeles calls timeout. Love is known for how explosive he can be on offense, but he still gets knocked on for his defensive prowess or lack thereof. He seems to be tiring of it, though, and has put in a lot of work. I think he's gotten better. Lakers trail by 15. Right side, Lynn. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And that one's good. Kelly. I remember last season when Tyson Chandler had remarks about Love's defense, and Love just brushed it off. It's something he's heard before and has followed him even in his rise to the highest ranks of the NBA. And I think it's been a bit of an overhyped and overstated problem for him. I mean, he does so much more on the court than people think. I don't think he'll ever be an NBA All-Star defender, but he's more than capable of holding his own at that end of the floor. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. And they're doing a fantastic job of finding the open man and getting easy looks. You know, we've seen them bearing their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. I mean, that's a good start for them. And he makes the first. Deion Waiters going into last season working on playing off the ball, whether, you know, catch and shoot, Steve, or coming off screens. Yeah, he's most comfortable with the ball in his hands, but you know, playing alongside Kyrie Irving, he's got to be more effective without the ball, working off those screens and learning to play with Irving. And he can't hit the second. And Waiters really has tried to emphasize staying on balance with his shot. Taking better shots, better quality shots within the offense, and we saw the results. There was an uptick in his percentages from the field and from long range as well. Now here's Lynn. Johnson, wide open, he fires! And not gonna go, he misses the first attempt on the night. It's been a great day for them on the boards, Clark. That's definitely been a major factor in building this big lead. And you know, from a number standpoint, the advantage might not be that large, but they have been manhandling them inside. And Waiters, still a volume score. To improve his efficiency, he's gotta get that free throw percentage back up and become more consistent finishing inside. But he's a natural scorer, he certainly has the talent. Now, Cleveland moving it up. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. You know, regardless of who starts the break, it seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. Now here's Johnson. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. He kicks it to Kelly. And it's blocked by Love. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Anderson Verajov's checked in for Cleveland. Anderson. 
Six to shoot. And again, the Lakers no good. The Cavaliers leading by 15. Irving dishes to Marion. Outside Irving. Pass to Waiters. From 13, and there's another one for the Cavaliers. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Lynn kicks to Johnson. Lynn the pass to Young. Wide open look. That's good. Young's got his first bucket of the night. Here's Irving. Nine points in the game so far. Now, love inside. And that one is hammered home. Uh, Clark, I'm guessing that wasn't the plan for the D on that trip. And I'm agreeing <laughs> with you there. Once they opened the lane up for him, that was a little emphasis on that finish. Take what the defense gives you and then just power it home, right? Why not? Lakers trail by 17. The dish to Lynn. Johnson in the corner. Back to Lynn. Shot clock at six. Young for three. Love grabs the board. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll Young knock Williams. that down more often than not. But you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find some, you're right. And they'll keep possession. Young with no one around. Again, Young missing. And the Cavaliers with possession. A big stretch here going 10-2. Irving kicks to Waiters. Love with the screen on Young. Waiters dishes to Love. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That's his first personal foul. Well, Kevin Love is really a player who I think befuddles pundits because the numbers say he's a superstar, probably a top five player, but then he's never been to the playoffs. To that, I would simply say basketball is a team game. Individuals don't take teams to the playoffs. So despite that, there are some left wondering if his numbers are greater than his actual impact on the team. I'm not one of them. And for Love, the other reason for the skepticism, you know, he's not a chiseled, overpowering athlete. He's not flashy. You know, maybe he doesn't look like a superstar, but his game speaks for itself, just the strength and the skill. Both free throws, good from Love. And one thing for sure, last season, the Timberwolves were a disaster when Kevin Love went to the bench. That's for sure, Kevin. I mean, when he was on the floor, they outscored opponents significantly. When he sat, their offense basically imploded. Now, here is Irving. Pass to Verizhao. Outside Irving. Kicks it to Waiters. Marion passes to Irving. Three-pointer. Here's Lynn. They set the screen to stop the run. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Love's got four rebounds in this game. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's costly. The shot from the low post is good. 11 points for Kyrie Irving. No way you can get back into the game if you continue to give up layups. Lynn kicks to Johnson. To the paint, here's Kelly. That's in coming off an assist from Johnson. Kelly's got five points now this quarter. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark, just piling up points in the paint. Now, here is Irving. He's got 11. Good on the shot. Irving's got 13. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. 
Lynn kicks to Kelly. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And that assist earned him a little nod from his teammate after the basket. And here is Waiters. 15 points in the game. Marion a screen on Lynn. Pass to Verizal. Waiters on the wing. And it's off from three-point range. LA's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Johnson gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Johnson's got his first bucket of the night. The Cavaliers leading by 20. Now Love inside. The shot no good. Lakers shooting 47% in the second quarter. Kelly dishes to Sacre. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Johnson can't get it to go. Cleveland's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, guys, the Cavs' David Blatt, the first ever NBA head coach directly hired from the international ranks. Though we grew up near Boston, a die-hard Celtics fan, he represents all the aspiring NBA coaches from abroad, saying, quote, I feel a great sense of responsibility. I feel like I've got to do a good job. Kevin, he certainly got the personnel to do it. A roster loaded with talent, Doris, indeed. Thank you. Here's Lynn, following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Sacre passes to Lynn. On its way from Young for two. Cannot hit. Good work defensively by Marion. Cleveland controlling the game. You know, every year there are a handful of teams in the Eastern Conference that buck the trend against the West, and last year Cleveland was one of them. And Kevin, as you said, most teams in the East struggled out of conference, but Cleveland was pretty solid against the West, and I think they'll be even better with LeBron. Absolutely. Here's Irving. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Irving's got 17 now. And Kevin, that's a really sweet stroke from Irving there. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Johnson kicks to Young. Young left side. Young left side. Again, Young missing. And for the Cavs, it didn't show up in the win column, but a lot of their losses to teams out west were close competitive games. Well, as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. I think it really could get out of hand, and you can credit their defense just as much as their offense for that. Here is Lynn. Sean Marion making his last shot. Young outside. 11 feet away, and he drops that one in. Young's got his second bucket of the night. Well, really, it was against the Southwest Division they struggled. A lot of East teams struggled against those teams, though. Six teams from the East had one or less wins against the division all season. Always tough when the East goes out West. Irving dishes to Love. Here's Verizhao. Rebound the Lakers. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That one on Love. Well, the former 60th pick back in 2012, Robert Sacre is Mr. Irrelevant no longer. Get rid of that moniker. A big leap in play from his rookie Jeez, season to his second campaign. Robert and he's shown improvement across the board. And Zach Ray, credited by the Lakers coaching staff last season, is the team's hardest worker and, Steve, maybe their best defender. Well, he's a seven-footer with a strong physical frame. He's got an NBA body. He shows good awareness, you know, keeping himself in a position to impact the play. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Johnson. Davis comes in for Ryan Kelly. Kobe's checked in for Young. And Nash is subbed in for Jeremy Lin. So he gets them both. Lakers last season, and this is a remarkable factoid here, folks. That was only the sixth time in franchise history, going all the way back to the 40s, that the Lakers had missed the playoffs. Obviously, the Lakers fans are not accustomed to missing the postseason. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's 
the Cavaliers have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Well, they were 75% free throw shooting a season ago. Taking two shots. That free throw, good from Delavidova. Randall's checked in for Sacre. And both free throws good for Della Vidova. 20 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Nash outside. Right side, Kobe. Unloads from 13. And that one is good. Bryant's got 18 points. Really nice work inside there. He'll always give you a battle on the interior, guys. LeBron drives in. Hill with some nice deeds. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Cavaliers ahead, running away with it. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Yes, Kevin, I'm here with LeBron, and you obviously have been very productive. How pleased are you with where you're getting the basketball and how you're scoring? Um, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but uh, you know, not so pleased with it. You know how I'm trying to you know help our teammates you know I'm, I got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the floor as well as keep myself in a good group too so um, hopefully I'll get a better job of that in a second LeBron thank you Kevin he can't do it by himself thank you Doris we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway 